Floss Tube. It's April 18th. It's Saturday. I'm Corinne. This is Colleen. We are the Grace Note Stitchers. If you've listened to us or watched us before, you'll know I do most of the talking. She's a little bit quieter and not feeling the best today. So I'm very, very thankful that she still wanted to do this because towards the end of talking, she's going to correct me by the way, because she keeps me on track. But towards the end, we're going to do um, a whip parade and she's very excited about this. Um, so some things that we got in this week. Um, so we decided, before I get into that, we decided this is a new room. This is our finished basement and we uh, took away all of our CDs and DVDs, moved them, and decided to make this our wall of cross-stitch supplies, kind of. Um, these are floss away books uh, or bag it books. So this is what I had years and years and years ago. And I loved them. And this is what I keep all my over dye threads in. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, so I went and bought my floss away bags uh, on Amazon. If you need them, I'll put a link below. I did figure out how to do that. Um, they were $9.25 for 100 bags. I like them, except they don't have the holes in. And we decided, uh, because you can't get these books anymore, uh, that we would put string through. And we're going to hang it once I get this whole shelf full. I have my sampler threads up there right now. Uh, I got to add my weeks in. And then I have more like rainbow gallery and specialty threads. So I'm hoping to fill that whole middle with all of that. Um, so anyway, that's one of the things we got in. And the other thing we got in is this little cabochon. Um, my husband's going to make take this top off again. He did take the other ones off and he said it was so, so easy. And then he goes, I need a Dremel. I was like, I am not buying you a Dremel. You can borrow one. But would you know, I found one at Walmart for $19.97. It's awesome because um, our dog's nails getting done. I go off on bunny trails. She'll poke me if I go too far. But anyway, um, I have cut our dog's nails before. So we had a dog years ago, Molly, who had white nails. Very easy to do. But she was always jerking and she was really hard to do. So I would cut her by accident just because she moved. Twyla would see this and she is such a good dog. She would still, she's a Yorkie Poo. She would still want me to do her nails. And then with her black nails, I would cut her. So our new puppy that we've had for two years, I have never tried to cut her nails and I never will. But with not being able to go to the groomer, um, cause I take them, I don't take them for haircuts all the time, but I do take them for their nails. Uh, but I'm gonna get my husband to do their nails. He's a little nervous about it cause I did pick up everything today. Um, but anyway, if you couldn't read this, it says make mine espresso. And I will say it's funny writing and it's a little blurry. So if you couldn't read it, it's not really because you can't see it on the camera. Um, last time I do know you couldn't read them. I didn't have them close enough. I'm gonna put the picture of them all on my Instagram so that you'll be able to see it. It's Grace Note Stitchers right on Instagram, which by the way, uh, if you ever have questions or something you want us to address, I have been cross stitching for like 35 years. And um, I don't know, I don't know everything, but you can email us at gracenotestitchers at gmail.com. I'll put that below also. Um, but we talked last week, you know, I tried, told you I'm pretty thrifty, uh, that we went and got that huge amount of floss. Colleen's gonna grab the huge tub so you can see what we had. So each bag is its own color. Uh, I read that dryer sheets would help. So we cut dryer sheets into quarters and close them up, put them in this tub airtight for two days. That did work at getting the old smell from the warehouse that they came from. That got that smell out, but now it smells like dryer sheets. And of course, I only I got the only scent that Walmart, because I do the pickup, I got the only scent that Walmart had very very strong um so <laughs> i went and set these outside for 24 hours in this little tub and it still smells like dryer sheets so if you guys can comment below any type of things that you know to get the smell out because now all of those smell like dryer sheets i don't want to hand wash all these they've got their labels on and i don't want to have to mess with that um, besides the fact that, you know, some fade, we don't know. And I'm, that's the reason I'm not setting them out in the sun because I know sun helps so much, but I don't want to fade the colors at all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with a little bit of our whips and then I'll talk a little bit more. 
So Colleen was, is going to start with her ornament. Should I show the original first? Mm -hmm. So this is like a nice kit that they have. That this used to be mom's. She, like, it, our grandma brought it to us. Like she had it. So I continued with them. This one was already finished. And there's your initials. Ah. Yeah. So she had finished that one and then started, do I need the thing? Yeah. Started this. I finished this one then. And then I did this one in three days. So we'll put a little ribbon at the top and we'll cover it in felt in the back, which was in there. Um, kind of neat. We had gone through, I had gone through and put pen, in pencil some names. Um, and then uh, decided who was going to get what. It is kind of sad when you look back because like the doll was supposed to be for my grandma. And I had for uh, my other grandparents and like my grandma and grandpa passed away last year. And I'm okay about that. They were in their 90s. Um, but they... I, but you know so I can't give it to them but I now have a niece and five nephews so they get to get these instead of my grandparents and my aunts um so we had actually told you all about mania Colleen has all of her pieces ready uh we actually had all of the fabric except for one for her so out of 31 projects we had all of that fabric here I know I told you I model stitched like 15 20 years ago well, a lot of times they paid us in stash. So I would get Ada, I would get linens. I could, they'd give me an array. They'd say, you know, here's my stash. You can pick that. This is the value I'm placing on it. And I'm going to pay you this much in my stash. And I, that's actually how I got a lot of my threads too. I have threads that I don't even remember crescent colors and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I got paid in stash. So we're using it up and I searched, well, zigzagged all of our fabric so that we can use it for mania um out of my 31 projects i got like 27 of them uh, i'll show you later that i started some lizzie kate flip -its. so i had made several of them and then i decided maybe i want to frame them all together in one and then i changed my mind and said no i'm not going to do that so i had this humongous piece of fabric and with that, I cut it into two pieces and I was able to get two regular size heads out of that. So I'm really excited. It didn't leave any, so any leftover. So I still have two flippets that I need to find fabric eventually one day. They're not part of my thing. Um, so I ordered fabric for my shackling, but of course you want custom fabric for that. You don't want to just take your scraps or what you have left. Um, I have a long dog sampler coming. That'll be my first ever. I ordered fabric for that. And then my very first soda stitch. Oh my goodness. I love these cute little fairy tales. And I have Anna Green Gables coming. So I'm excited to see that come. And then once upon a fairy tale from Paid, uh, Amy Stewart, I have to get a piece of fabric for that one also. But other than that, I have absolutely everything. Now, I have 29 projects. If everything comes for my Chatelaine fabric and my first colors come in time, uh, I will be starting that on May 31st. That will be my special piece. And then I need one more. So if you guys tell me maybe some of your favorite designers, help me pick my last project. I already have an afghan that I've got started. She's doing tons of towels and uh, bread cloths. Uh, I have hades, so I don't need any, I don't want any more full coverage. I got too many of those. I, of course, I said long dog soda sampler um, or soda stitch. I'm going to be starting a new um, stitch along. Colleen's going to show you hers first, though. Uh, this is called A Year of Black Work um, by, by Peppermint Purple. Peppermint Purple. Um, it goes, they release a thing every week, a new pattern thing each week. It's week 16, so she's just starting. So, because I was kidding mine up, I just joined in February. So, since I was kidding mine up in uh February, I decided, you know what, I'm going to wait and save that as one of my new starts in May. So I needed to reprint because it's got 16 weeks of squares now. When I reprinted, <laughs> instead of printing uh, page four, which was just the week 16, I accidentally printed four copies. So I went on Peppermint Purple's website or Facebook page and I said, you know, anybody who needs one, uh, just let me know because I have extras. And since I had extras, Colleen's like, you know what, I think I'm going to start. Mm -hmm. But she's going to do hers a little bit differently. Did you want to show your 
colors. I didn't bring them down. Um, but this would be like a special border that I'm gonna do. I gotta pick what it is. Uh, but mine's gonna be like ombre uh, greens and blues. Mine's gonna be the original color because you know I'm not much of an original person. Um, I like to. I don't have good taste of putting things together. Let's put it that way. But that's okay. Uh, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. So this, I want to show you the cover first and then I'll show you the project. This is called Aurora. And I got this from Bugs Cross Stitch in Canada. And I probably have said before that I don't like to stitch the same thing twice. But this is one little tiny project that I am absolutely going to do twice. Because this very special one is going to be for my niece Lizzie. And when I'm done with that, I had cut the same exact fabric, same size for myself. So I am going to be stitching that for myself and for Lizzie. Now I don't have a cover copy of this one. This is Pocahontas. I got this at um, Etsy. Etsy, thank you. So it's gonna be her form. And then the, it's only two colors. And then the inside is flowers. And I, it was a set of like six or eight princesses. So I'm excited about that. But we wanted to show you all of our whips we have right now before we start our 62 all together in May. This one here is really special. When I um, saw this on Facebook, because I am a piano teacher, I love music, music is my life. Other cross stitching is fast back becoming my life again. I saw that somebody stitched this. I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta have that. It's an Elsa Williams kit. And the person said, I'll send you that pattern so you can work on it. Like, seriously? Of course, it has no colors and there are no DMC conversions that I know of. So I matched it up the best I could. This is all the further I am. But I'm very excited and very, very thankful that someone was willing to send that to me. Um, for one of my challenges, I had to do a D. I didn't have any projects that start with D. So I decided to do D is for dog. This just out of one of my cross stitch books, which that's what all of those over there are. Those are cross stitch patterns. And then this is my progress. This one I'm getting pretty close to being done. Now, if you saw the pattern, I am changing the colors because both of our dogs are girls. Um, instead of green through here, I have changed it to purple. And our dog, one dog has a pink collar and the other one had one at another time. So I changed the ribbon and the fill in to be pink instead of red because it was kind of Christmassy. Uh, this, so I did this uh, challenge between Jody Rice stitches, circus stitches, and I forget some of the other, uh, KLT designs or KLT creations. And in that, you had to begin a design by each of them. So I went and I found this one. And this, I am creating my own color. So as it comes to me, you guys can let me know how I do. Um, this is life begins after coffee because I'm a coffee drinker. This is my ember. Oh my gosh. My husband got me this for Christmas and he did his research and most of them are 10 ounce. So if you go to Starbucks to look at an ember, it's only 10 ounce. You went to Best Buy because it's 14 ounces there. The 10, the 14 ounce holds my 10 ounces of coffee that I make in my Keurig plus a little bit of cream because I use half and a half. So anyway, he knew what he was doing when he picked that out for me. Uh, this is a Haid Mini Mulan. She is my, I don't know if you want to say special project, but this is the one that I'm challenging myself to get done this year. And then this is another one of this. I think this was KLT, don't quote me either circus or KLT and it says all you need is faith trust and a little bit of pity pixie yeah. so why did I pick this because I'm not I mean I like princesses and fairy tales pixies aren't quite my thing but in the game myth and magic stitch wars my team is the pixies so I picked this they don't even know what this says all the way yet uh, this is a nice one to get a lot of stitches in for the game so I picked it and because it was about pixie dust I was like oh this is really awesome. So I call it my secret project until the words come out that I'm not telling them what it's actually called. So I don't know if any of my team's going to be watching this. They'll know ahead of time. Uh, this is one of the uh, stitch alongs that I'm doing and it's by uh, the Frosted Pumpkin. This is just the sample page because they don't have it out yet, but I fell in love with the colors in this. I, I just have to do this. 
So this was my first stitch along that I have ever done. This is our months. January, February, March is done. Working on April. May, this is one of my days, by the way. I'll be starting this in May as my one of my starts. This is Etoile. So if you've never used it, it's pretty neat. This is silver and black. And then they have it, you know, through the special designs. And they actually are putting the date, the months in that also. Uh, so my first time using that, it just to add some sparkle. And I'm using a coffee uh, hand dyed fabric by Picture Me This Plus or Picture Me Plus. Uh, this is another stitch along that I'm doing by Clouds Factory. It's Grimm's Fairy Tales. I started the other one first and I, it was a quick stitch. And I kept looking at this and people keep asking on Facebook, what stitch alongs are available? And I would tell them Grimm's and I would love to do Grimm's, but I don't think I should. <laughs> then the end of January, I decided I should. So the beginning is the once. Uh, this was the first Princess of Frog, Hansel and Gretel. I don't remember what April is. I haven't started that. And then of course I have the May. As soon as that begins, that's going to be one of my May. I don't know if I hold that too high. I hold it a little lower for you. And then, huh, right in my stuff. Coffee Mama. My friend sells 31 and I ordered this. It was on discount last month. And I got it today. So again, for the team event that I did, there's my team Jody Rye. I'll use this as my backup. Uh, it's coffee month. I couldn't not do it. That was a free pattern, by the way. And then these are my Lizzie Kate flip -its. I'm doing all of my family's birth months. So I'm going to start here with Colleen's. This is the December. This is finished, by the way. So was the cup. Uh, I'm waiting to frame these until I have them all. So it's Colleen's December. This is my son. This is Alan June. I'm working on a June myself for myself. Is it something? No. Actually, this is, uh, it still looks like a stamp. That would be the June that I'm working on. She did two different series. So that was actually pretty cool that we were able to get two different ones. And we don't do Halloween here, um, but fall I do. So the first series uh, October was a witch and you know, we don't do Halloween. I was going, oh, that's really disappointing. The next set she did a scarecrow. Love it. Love it. Love it. Bless you. So I was really happy about that. And then this is the one I just finished. So if you're on Instagram, you saw this already. This is May. That is for my husband. So Hopefully we'll be able to celebrate his birthday this year. <laughs> Our anniversary was celebrated in the Starbucks parking lot. We went through the drive through got coffee. And then this was August for my youngest daughter. She's already 13. All right, we're gonna go into Colleen's hate. Would you like to show your So this is what it will be when it's done. Uh, in this corner, I think wherever it is, it's just the black. It looks like I'm probably a hundred way done with my project. So she is doing a paper pattern. She's We copied the pages she's working on. She's highlighting as she goes. This was called, what was that one called? Melody in Pink. Melody in Pink. This is a super size max color. So 238 or 237 okay. colors. Yeah. And yes, this is that scroll rod that we told you about that I created years and years ago. Mm -hmm. This next one is my Mirabilia. This is Sleeping Beauty. I'm making this as a gift for my husband. He doesn't know that. He knows I'm doing it, but he doesn't know it's for him. So I have been, you'll see this in various modes because I started this in October. And then when I took my weight over here, I miscounted. So it was either take this whole side out and it's, it's done down here or take the middle out. So I'm kind of taking the middle out as I go. So you won't see too much progress, but believe it or not, it's actually going to be a lot of progress. So I just put 750 stitches in that in the past couple of days. And then my final project that I'm working on is my hate. Hopefully you can see this. Through, I don't hope it doesn't glare. This is a place of her own and I am a book lover. If you saw that entire wall, we have seven, eight bookshelves. And then what books nobody's reading right now are in boxes. So we're big on books in this house. 
Um, so this is girl reading, and then <laughs> there's my little unicorn. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really excited about the unicorn being there. And I, it's a piece of sheet music. When I saw that, I was like, that is awesome. So I'm not real far. And again, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> not sneeze, girl. <laughs> I got dust in my throat. Um, this is all the further I am, but that is, I think, 5,000 stitches. I am doing tent stitch. Uh, this is my Omenic frame, or as I was listening to somebody from Canada, they say Omenique. I don't know if that's right, because I've always said like Krennic thread, and she says Krennic. Is that a Canadian thing? Is that a US thing? I have no idea, because I have never called the company to know. So some things that we were have been up to this week, if you think of anything, just interject. Mm -hmm. uh, in the evenings, my husband is, no, I say evening, but nights, uh, my husband will sit and play a game on his cell phone while we're, I'm sitting stitching on the couch. And the other day I started uh, to wine floss for one of my large projects I'm beginning. By the way, I'm doing this stained glass Disney princess piece that's humongous. And I'm winding all the flosses for that. And I'm like, don't you want to help wine floss? He's like, no. An hour later, do I want to help wine floss? No. But an hour later, he says to me, yeah, I guess I'll help. So about three or four nights this week, he's helped me wind. Um, I'm a perfectionist to a degree. So I wind my floss really nice and smooth for the first two rows. And then I wind fast because I, I don't need it to be perfect, perfect. I just want it to lay in my boxes nicely. So he goes, why don't you do it? smooth the whole way. I'm like, because it takes too much time. So I get the first two rows and then he finishes and he does it the smooth way. So it takes forever. I think we can get like eight done in an hour and then I'm done and I go back to stitching. But Colleen winds hers that nice, careful way all the time also. But uh, we were out today. Colleen got to practice driving somewhat. Yep, she said I did good. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, is there anything else that we want to talk about? Uh, it was help the one. Oh, good. See, she helped me remember things. Um, so if you like the longer versions, let us know uh, because we can uh, definitely wait to put out more videos and make them longer. This was longer because of the whip parade. Uh, so typically we try to keep it 20, 25 minutes just because we don't want to bore you. So you can let us know if you like longer or shorter, drop the comment in below. Okay. So then in May, we will probably be putting out a video every three, four days because we don't want to be inundating you every week with 14 projects we're planning to do or 14 projects that we had just started. Uh, my goal is to try to get 200, 250 stitches in each project each day that I start so that it matches the goals that I'm working on in all of my challenges. Um, Colleen's just going to stitch all day, yeah, whatever. I, I stay out of that craziness. <laughs> she does think I'm nuts. That's okay. Um, oh, if you didn't notice, can you hand me, honey, that top piece of fabric right there? Um, we use several different ways. So I use tension or spring hoops. Enough. I did that earlier. Um, so I use a tension hoop or spring hoop, and I don't know if you can see it. I don't love it because it leaves the lines. Now this, I will, it's small enough that when I frame it, you won't see that. I do turn them over, put a nice towel down, and I iron it. Um, so that's not too much of a worry on a project like that. I used to only use spring hoops or tension hoops. Uh, then somebody showed me the Q-snaps. You wanna hand me one of those? So I will show you what I love about Q-snaps. Um, so with Q-snaps, on a piece of like nice linen that you don't wanna have it stretch, I loosen it at the end of the night. Then it's not gonna pull on my fabric. And I love that. And then I can just tighten it back up. And like, if you put your hand through it, I don't know if you've ever leaned on the back of a project, all you do is tighten it back up. So your tension, I love to have a nice tight tension. Um, that Jody Rye cup, I actually stitched in hand. So I did the sewing method. So I do use several different methods. Uh, you saw I'm doing tent stitch and we're using the scroll rods. Well, they don't make a uh, Q-snap that's big enough for those big, huge projects. Um, so we're doing scroll outs. We both use Lowry's uh, to hold this because obviously we can't in our hands. They're mm -hmm. too heavy. But I'm getting used to the scroll rods and I'm starting to like them more. I'm not going to say I like them more than Q-snaps. 
because all my small projects, I'm not buying frames. I am buying Q-snacks. Don't tell my husband. I have more sets than I really should um, because I do like to leave them on because all you do is loosen them up and they stay good. And not this one, but my husband's been making me labels. So I even labeled the side of them so that it's really easy to uh, get to. Um, but that's all for this week. Uh, it was great to spend some time with you. I appreciate that you sat through this and watched all of it. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please pass our name along. Um, you can subscribe, you can uh, comment and put some thumbs up. I saw there's a thumbs up that you can do. I've been doing that to the ones I've been watching because I've been having fun watching Floss Tube while I stitch. So have a good week. Bye. Bye.